90 percent of the Republicans in Congress have signed the No New Taxes pledge. If I had any criticism of her speech, it was that she was referring to extreme elements in the Republican Party that didn't want to raise taxes. Well, 90 percent is a pretty big extreme group. It's not an, an extreme Republican uh, idea to sign the No New Taxes pledge. It's a mainstream Republican idea. So the problem the Democrats have is if they want taxes to be any part of a budget deal, uh, they have to not only negotiate with the Republicans, they have to get the Republicans to negotiate themselves so they can all hold hands and violate the no new taxes deal at, this, at the same time. So one way to avoid that is simply to let the Bush tax cuts expire. That's 2% of GDP and revenue right there. And they can get that by doing nothing. So it's a substantive issue as well as a, as a strategic issue. And I wouldn't want to downplay the substantive part uh, you can get more revenue out of a deal if you just let the tax cuts expire than, than if you uh, keep, keep extending them. In terms of the long-term effects, the way I think it, of, of it is if we let the tax cuts expire and we initiate the sequesters, uh, we will be on a much better long-term path than we are now in terms of budget aggregates. Now, nobody will like the structure of what we've done because we will have raised taxes, tax rates, instead of expanding the base, uh, and we will have cut discretionary spending instead of addressing entitlements. But the fact that we're on a better path would give us more revenues, more, less spending. It, it would give us an opportunity to reach a budget deal, and it would, of course, give us the incentive to reach the budget deal because nobody likes that particular structure. Uh, the short-term concerns, uh, Alice mentioned CBO said this could push us back into a recession. That could be... Uh, that could be dealt with via uh, an explicit short-term stimulus package that did not involve the Bush tax cuts. Uh, I had a piece online about this uh, earlier uh, this week, but I think this partisan debate about how much of the tax cuts do we extend or how much do we not extend is not getting us anywhere. There are many more interesting issues, believe it or not, than what share of the Bush tax cuts ought to be extended. And uh, I think the right way to do that is to to deal with this is to do something explicitly short-term and temporary now, let the tax cuts expire, create the big framework, and, and deal with tax reform.